Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to customize the watch face on your Cento 9 barometer watch. Basically the way this watch works is you have pre-delivered watch faces that Cento gives you. You can pick and choose the one you want and then you have a little bit of customization options available for each watch face. You can customize it to meet, uh, meet your needs. I'm going to try and show you that as best as I can in this video. If nothing else, I hope I can give you an idea of your available watch face options that you've got for you. So first let me say, if you're a touchscreen person, this is a touchscreen watch. I'm going to try and use the buttons more than touchscreen, just because it keeps fingerprints off the, t off the screen. It'll make it easier for you to be able to see the watch faces. I'm going to start by pressing and holding the middle button on the right-hand side of the watch. If you press and hold it down, it will take you to your shortcuts of the watch. Now again, if you're a touchscreen person, you could swipe up or down. If you're a button person, you could use either the up button or the down button. What we need to do is we need to go down to watch face, and then we're going to press the middle button. Again, you could tap it if you're a touchscreen guy. The middle button does the same thing. It basically chooses the option. Now we're in our watch face options for our Cento 9. I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you all of the different watch face options you got. You'll notice on the side here, there's a uh, triangle pointing to the right. That would be to confirm the watch face. And then you can see a little down arrow shows me that I'm at the top of the list and I can go down. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you all of the available watch faces. Then we'll pick one of them and I'll show you how we can customize it. So we've got this one, this one. You're going to see a combination of digital and analog options. So you can pick what it is that you're interested in seeing. You'll notice that I'm at the bottom of my list, so the only thing I can do is go back up. Those are all of your available watch face options that you've got on this watch. So you're going to go through and you're basically going to figure out which watch face do I want to use. So I'm going to pick and choose. This one looks like a good one. I'm going to use this one. Once you've got the watch face you want, you're going to either tap on it or press the middle button on the right to confirm it. We've successfully changed our watch face. The next thing we can do is we can adjust the color. Again, we're going to see the same thing as what we saw before. I can go down the list and I can choose a different color. Each watch face will have different color options as well as view options. So I'm going to go through and just show you all of the different color options. You'll notice that each one of them gives you the option of if you like the inverted display where you basically have the black background with the lighter font or if you like the white background with the dark font. So let's just pick and choose. This one might be a little bit easier to see on my camera. So I'm going to choose this one. This looks good. We've successfully changed our watch face and we've customized it. Now, aside from this, you really can't do anything else. The one thing you can do is if you look at my watch face, it's got some different data values being shown. One of them is the sunset time and one of them is the sunrise time down here at the bottom. Certain things can be changed and certain things cannot. You really don't have any say so in it. It's basically delivered from Cento. But if I don't like what's being shown here, I can click on the watch face and I can see my available options. So remember, I've got sunrise down here at the bottom. If I, oops, sorry. If I click on the watch face, I can toggle that. So now it's showing battery percentage instead. Click on it again, it's showing me moon phase. Click on it again, it's showing me the day of the week and the date. Click again, it's showing me my exercise information. And then again, it shows me my uh, elevation. Finally, back to sunrise. You'll notice that the top value did not change. So no matter what, you have to have the sunset. But I can pick and choose any of these other options down here at the bottom. Maybe I'll do altitude. So you've got a little bit of customization options per watch face. For this watch face, those are your available options. A different watch face might give you some different data field options uh, than this one did. But you're always going to have one value that's going to be predefined and then some that are going to change. Anyway, that is how we customize and change the watch face on the Cento 9. The video helps. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. If you like videos about watches, I hope you'll think about subscribing to this channel. I hope the video helped.